Hello from Portland, Oregon. This is Aaron Shear, and today we're going to use NI AWR Microwave Office to perform an AC steady state circuit analysis on this circuit here. So let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the circuit. On the left, we got an ideal current source, has an amplitude of 10 and a phase of 30 degrees. We have an ideal impedance element with a reactance of negative 8. That means the impedance is negative J8 ohms. We have a cap from this node to ground, another impedance element with value J4 ohms from this node to ground, a resistance of 12 ohms. Here we see another impedance element with reactance of negative 4 ohms, so the impedance is negative J4 ohms. And then here on the right we have an ideal voltage source with an amplitude of 2 volts and a phase of negative 100 degrees, and we're interested in finding the voltage, the phase and magnet, or excuse me, the magnitude and phase of the steady state AC voltage at this node here with respect to ground. We're going to use Microwave Office to do this. So let's first open up our AWR design environment. And it should open up by default a new project. Okay, so on the left, let's right click on circuit schematics and then let's left click on new schematic and let's just call this something like AC is fun I don't know something like that and let's just save our project I'm going to save it as example alright so this is our blank canvas with which to add circuit elements to our empty circuit schematic so let's first add the capacitor. Click on lumped element, capacitor. Here's our cap and closed form model. Bring it over. Click Control R to rotate and rotate it. Move there. Let's get our resistor. Resistor here. The model is here. Move it over. Let's change these values as we go. 12 ohms. The cap should be one picofarad. The default units is microfarad. We need to change that. Options, project options, global units, and cap capacitance. Move it up to or down to picofarad. While we're here, let's change the current to amps and the frequency to gigahertz, and then hit OK. And that's what we want. One picofarad. All right. Now let's find these impedance elements. So we go to general, passive, other, and right here, general impedance element. Bring that over. That's the model. And we're going to click have one there. Control C, Control V at paste. Paste another one. Copy, Control R, rotate. And start connecting stuff. It's connected there, it's connected there, and a couple grounds, don't forget. Okay, so this impedance by default has a resistance of zero and a reactance of zero. Let's change the reactance to negative eight. This reactance is negative four. This reactance x is equal to four, four ohms. Now let's get our current source. On the left here, I'm looking for sources. There's sources, AC, AC current, drag it over. There it is. Just like that. Put the ground there where we need it. Oops, let's delete that. Ground's here. And let's change the amp with the magnitude to 10 and the phase, the angle to 30 degrees. Now let's get our voltage source. So we got there it is, AC voltage source. Bring that over there. Fits in there. Ground. And then we want our magnitude to be two volts and our angle to be negative one hundred. Okay, I think everything looks correct. Okay, let's just save it and 
the next step is to actually tell Microwave Office the frequencies that we're going to be sweeping with. So we go options, project options, frequencies. We're going to do start from 0.1 gigs, whoops, 0.1 to 1 with steps of something small like 0 0.001 and hit apply and keep that at replace. And this is our, these are all the frequencies with which this is going to calculate um, the voltage at this node. So, okay. Now let's put a uh, voltage probe right here at this node since that's where we want to measure the voltage at with respect to ground. So we are going to look for a measurement device. Under measurement devices, probes. Click on probes. There's our voltage probe model. Drag it over. All right, welcome to the party, voltage probe. Okay. Now we hit analyze. Nothing's going to happen. We haven't set up an actual measurement a graph yet. So let's go down, bottom left, click project tab, and under graphs, right click. Click on left click on new graph, rectangular, right click somewhere in here, go to add new measurement. Now our measurement type is AC. The measure thing that we're actually going to measure is VAC, the AC voltage. And our current schematic is AC is fun, so there it is. Applac AC is the right simulator. We're going to do the magnitude, so leave that. The measurement component, this is what are we, this is basically to specify what element are we actually, or what node are we taking the voltage measurement at. So I'm going to click on this box, double click on the probe. Hit apply, hit OK, and now hit analyze. And it's going to do its frequency sweep. And this is it. This is the magnitude. Of the voltage of that at that node as you sweep from 0 0.1 to 1 gigahertz. Now if we want to plot the phase, very similar. We go back to graphs, right click, new graph. If we want it on a new graph, you could also plot it on this graph. We'll do new. Rectangular plot, right click, add new measurement. Everything is the same as before. By default, go to angle. Apply, OK analyze and this is the phase as the frequency goes from 0 0.1 to 1 gigahertz in degrees because that's the units that this is set at and this is the basics of how to perform a steady state AC circuit analysis using microwave office.